This will be the fifth of five key congressional committees to take up health care reform legislation, and it is expected to set off a furious round of vote counting, amendments, White House pressure, and lobbying from outside interest groups to help shape this legislation that now seems to have some momentum behind it. Dr. Lewis Sullivan was secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services for President George H.W. Bush. In an interview with ABC News, Sullivan said Congress must pass health care reform. The election is over. It's now time to come together and govern. It's time for action. Of the five Democratic bills currently in Congress, Sullivan favors the one in the Senate Finance Committee, which he says is more bipartisan. We're not going to get a perfect answer. There are, are a number of things um, uh, that uh, I would not be uh, enthusiastic about, but I am not enthusiastic about the failure to enact health care reform. Having struggled to get even one current Republican official to support his reform efforts, President Obama is talking a lot about Republican former officials such as Sullivan and former Senate Majority Leaders Bob Dole and Bill Frist, who've been pushing more broadly for some bipartisan compromise. Bob Dole said, I want this to pass. We Dole thought this Democratic National Committee TV ad went too far, however, in making his push for bipartisan compromise seem like he was bashing current Republicans. Dole complained to White House Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel, who had the DNC pull the ad. Either way, White House officials say they have the momentum, with the narrative having shifted from whether something will pass to what will pass, even among conservative commentators. Well, I think health care is going to pass uh, in, in some form. The White House desperately wants to be able to call the bill bipartisan, and so they want the support tomorrow of Maine Republican Senator Olympia Snow. She has not said how she will vote, though other Republicans are talking about changes they'd like to see when the amendment process begins on the Senate floor. Medical malpractice reform, go across state lines to get insurance policies of your choice, and refundable tax credits. And lobbying here in Washington, D.C. has hit a fever pitch, expected to get even more intense, Bill, than it was in August. Exactly. Speaking of lobbyists, the health insurance lobby, just this morning we're learning they're about to put out a report that says premiums will go up. Under this plan, they were a supposed ally of the White House, so how might the president respond to this? Well, the White House says that this report from uh, the health insurance lobbies uh, put together by PricewaterhouseCoopers, which says family premiums will go up cumulatively by about 20000 per family over the course of 10 years. The White House response is this is a self-serving report paid for by opponents of health reform and was prepared by a firm that specializes in tax shelters. Bill. Okay, Jake Tapper at the White House. Thanks.